everyone! This week we're creating crepe paper hibiscus flowers. The first thing I did was take a piece of paper and fold it in half, and since the petals aren't very wide, you don't need to fold the whole paper. Once you've done this, draw half the petal on the fold line, and you'll probably need to make some adjustments. We'll be tracing this pattern to create the petals. Mine look like this, and just go ahead and cut it out. So the petal ended up looking like this, and you can just pattern yours after this. For the stem, I'm using 16 gauge floral wire, and I will list all the materials in the description. And we're just going to be covering the first couple inches of this wire to create the middle part of the flower. So I'm just going to cut a rectangle of this pink crepe paper, make sure the crepes are going vertically, and I'm just going to cut this the length of the middle part of the flower. And then we'll be gluing and wrapping this around the wire. So it doesn't need to be too wide, it just needs to be wide enough to wrap all the way around the wire. So I'm trimming off a little bit of extra and then just making sure that it's still wide enough to cover it. So I'm just going to put some glue on the wire and wrap the crepe paper around it, leaving a little space at the top with just paper. So it looks like this. Next take some scissors and we're just going to cut down to the level of the wire and we're going to be making five of these little strips. And I ended up with six and you can just remove one of them. So it ended up looking like this. Next we're going to add to this middle part by cutting a rectangle like this and then taking the scissors and just cutting little strips a little past halfway down. Make sure that these are very close together. So it looked like this. Then I'm just going to wrap it around and measure how long it needs to be and then trim it. So it needs to be this big to wrap all the way around. So next I'm just going to take a scrap piece of paper and some yellow acrylic paint and a paintbrush. And I'm just going to paint the very tips of this with the yellow paint. Flip it over and do the other side. So it looks like this, just kind of stretch it out. And then we're going to wrap it around and glue it on. So it starts just below those five strips. Then you can bend those outwards so it looks like this. Next I'm going to repeat this again. This time I decided to paint the tips before I trimmed it. Then just measure it around. Trim it and then glue it in place just below the first one. So you don't want them to be quite touching, but pretty close together. Like this. Then I'm going to do that a third time. And bend those outwards so it looks like this. And then I'm going to do it one more time So it ended up looking like this. Next I just took some acrylic paint that's slightly darker than the color of the paper and I just painted the very tips of those top five strips. Like this. Next I'm taking some white acrylic paint. This is optional but I just wanted to add a little more color to the center and I'm just using a tiny bit on the brush to add a little color. So it ended up looking like this. Next we're going to create the petals. 
and we'll be making five of these. Make sure you have the paper so the crepes are going vertically. And then just trace five and cut all of those out. Once you've done that, take one of the petals and I'm taking a Tombow marker and drawing vertical lines on it just to add some more color to the petal. Then I'm taking the edges and stretching them out so it gets kind of a ruffled effect. And stretching a little bit out on the center of the petal. I'm just kind of folding the edges and making them look more like a real petal. And then I'm going to be attaching this to the center. Just put some glue at the very bottom and glue it right where that center ends. So it looks like this at this point. So I'm repeating this again with a second petal. Stretching out the edges. And then we'll attach it just like the other one, but right next to it. You want to make sure that they are overlapping slightly. Looks like this. Then I'm adding a third petal. I repeated the same process that I did on the other two. And then glue it to the bottom. Make sure that you're leaving room for two more petals. Looks like this. Here's the fourth petal. Just overlapping them slightly. Like this. And then finally the last petal. Attaching it in that last spot. Then pull the petals kind of outwards. And then this next step is what will really make a difference in the look of the flower. I'm just putting a little bit of glue right on the edge of each petal and then gluing it to the petal next to it. This will give it the shape that it needs to have. So I did that all the way around the flower so all the petals are connected. And then you can just make adjustments and kind of fold the flower up to add crinkles to it. And then on some of the petals, I added just a small dot of glue towards the top and glued it to the petal next to it. Doing that again here. It just depends on how you want it to look and how well it's coming together. Finally, I'm taking a pencil and I'm just curling those petals backwards. It just gives them some shape. So it looks like this. And I just made some more adjustments. Just folding the edges a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to create the calyx of the flower. So I'm just going to bend the flower a little bit so the wire is curved like this. I'm taking some green crepe paper and I'm cutting a rectangle like this. And I'm just going to cut out three triangles. So it looks like this. And then this is just going to go around the base of the flower. So put some hot glue, put the center of it, and then just kind of wrap it and gather it up around the bottom. And I ended up having a little bit of glue showing, but that's okay because the next part will cover it. So cut another rectangle of green crepe paper be cutting out three triangles again but this time I want them to be thinner and taller so it looked like this and then this will just go below the other piece and you don't want to attach the triangles to the piece you'll want them to kind of bend backwards so just glue the very bottom and then bend those pieces outwards So 
so it looks like this. Finally, I'm taking some green floral tape and I'll just be wrapping the entire stem with this. Or you can stop when you get close to the bottom. So just be sure to stretch this as you go, that helps it stick. And just wrap the entire length. And this is the finished flower. Feel free to add leaves if you'd like. And that's it! If you'd like to see a certain flower in a future video, feel free to request that below. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more from my channel, subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.